just wanted to go over the operation of the DISA or uh, differential air intake unit. This actually makes long and short runners in the intake manifold which uh, gives better power and from uh, lower load and higher load. And this is a failed unit but I just want to point out a couple of things here. There's a little hole right there and the way that this unit works, it works off of intake vacuum. Now that's how the vacuum is actually applied to this unit is this small hole. So you want to make sure that hole is clean right there. And then it's also electrically operated. So you need vacuum and the engine control unit has to supply power and ground. This is the actual solenoid rod right here that goes into an internal diaphragm. So you need, you could have a problem with the internal diaphragm. This could be clogged. So you could actually have a vacuum problem. You could have a sealing problem with this ring here, which this is not replaceable separate. Although if this gasket is failing, a little bit of RTV around the edge when you push it into place and let it cure can often reseal this section right here. Now it can also fail electronically and then it can also fail, like in this case, by this flap. Now this is actually one of the most common, so this can result in a loss of power when driving. This would be on any M52TU or M54 or any vehicle with a, a DISA flap. So what this also could result in is a rattle, so it like flutters when you're driving. So you'll hear, usually a, the complaint is, you hear like a rattle noise under a light acceleration. And that's usually this flap that's failing right here. Now when it fails like this too, you can have an air leak right through here from the box, from the internal diaphragm. So, and you can see the hole right there. So when you do a smoke test, you'll actually see the smoke coming out of this unit. And a lot of times this flap is actually broken or the seal is no good. So these are common to fail. They're relatively easy to install. I have a video on that already. But if you take the air box out here, you have two Torx screws here and here. This is just a clip that you press and unplug and basically just pulls out of the intake manifold like this. You put the new one in, bolt it down, put your plug back on, and you're good to go. But I thought I'd share this particular failure on this unit and uh, just go over some of the operation of this diesel unit.